So there's this veil. Think of it as a shroud that obscures the details behind it while revealing certain shapes. It's ignorance, but with a purpose. Philosopher John Rawls called this theory the veil of ignorance, and in an almost criminally nutshell, condensed down version, he posed a question. If one were to design a system of fairness for all people, yet they were unsure who they themselves would be born into in this system, how would they do it? How would they go about it? Whether he knew it or not, he was describing an instrument of the market itself. The second part of price discovery is, after all, discovery. Philosophers usually get the ball rolling. Troublemakers, the whole lot of them, really. Everything does start with the philosophical question, after all. Before it gives way to its own specific discipline. Welcome back to You've Made Worse Bets, coming to you from the starship Minotaur, the first of the Great Bulls. I'm your Captain CJ, and by my side, ready to short literally anything except GameStop and AMC, is Due Diligence. He's a bear, and we're a gambling show. YouTube is a harsh mistress. Please like and share, because growth of any kind is bullish. Now then, let's get down to business. Barnes & Noble. Yeah, yeah, I know, brick and mortar. Retailers seem to be in need of a lot of cash recently. And really, the market is the most efficient device by which to do that. It's not really as crazy as it sounded a year ago, huh? Ultimately, it's time that tells. Also, that dip yesterday was nearing its three-month low territory. I'm considering getting a few calls a few months out. Maybe wait about an hour or so after open. Remember, gang, almost nothing goes up from bell to bell. As such, do not buy the open. Truth be told, if you want a simple strategy, it's going to make money more than it's not. Uh, buy the close of spy, sell the open. We're in a golden bull market. Don't doubt your vibe. Now then. Inflation, deflation, fear, all the things. I love going through YouTube. And you can see market crash imminent years ago. I mean, even a broken clock is right twice a day. We choose the path of progress. And thus, we fuel this fire with bullish stocks and calls. M-R-I-N. Okay, now is when you buy this one. There's almost a pattern to these runners. Huge day up. And then about a day or two to settle, personally. I'm getting shares pre-market if I can get uh, any more of the dip. Big money orders keep flowing in here and aren't really budging. This is going to be fun. Bears are got a little too greedy here, I think. Workhorse, the time has finally come. I've been bullish on them ever since they had that government contract robbed from them. Yeah, I said it. Can you see I'm still a little bitter? Okay. Its short interest is ridiculous, so even if they never get a government contract, your calls will still likely make some money, especially if you get them during a good dip. Here's the thing, though. I bet they get some sort of government funds. I, I don't know why. Call it a hunch. All this ticker needs is a nudge, and it'll fly. If we're wrong, it's only limited downside, as it's pretty near its floor. If it trades sideways for a few days, then sell and reposition. Such is our plan, at least. Excuse me for a second, please. What's that, Didi? Short Uber, because people want to drive, they've missed it, and they're an evil company, in that order. Fair enough. Really need to fix his mic. Uh, speaking of, I appreciate the help and comments on my own mic. I hope it's working better, fingers crossed. Time will tell. Facebook. Speaking of less than great companies, I think Zuck and his crew are about to see a spike in the share price. I'm fully aware of all the bad rulings against them, both domestically, Texas and whatnot, and abroad. The reality is that they're not going anywhere anytime soon. They'll continue to find ways to monetize. And while they can't coast forever, they get some nice volatility spikes in these next few weeks, months. Mara. Okay, be careful on this one. It's 12% down for the month, and uh, on the three months, and so much of that is because of the recent crypto pullback. 
Bitcoin is being bought in droves. We chatted earlier about countries who are even adopting it and heavily investing. What's new, though, is companies themselves, not institutions, but companies issuing new shares of their own when they hit all-time highs and then taking the newly acquired capital to invest in Bitcoin. Unless Bitcoin stops being Bitcoin, and this is actually a pretty solid bet, it's almost malpractice to not be doing this on some level. Give this time to set up and you'll start to really see the dominoes fall. Skills. I've always been bullish on this ticker and provided we get a little pullback soon, I'll get shares and calls. This is the most likely on the list to uh, be a 10 bagger over the next couple of years. We live in fascinating times. Check. If you want a micro cap, this is my move. I'm going to get these early as that 13% or so dip is not going to last. If it dips more, I'll wait a bit. But this will retake some ground in very short time. I don't just do day trades uh, or swing trades, but almost without exception, I don't hold most things over four days. Period. Wrong or right, I should know by then uh, when my timing was, and I don't get sentimental about a ticker. Excuse me again. Yes, Dee Dee. What about GameStop and AMC? Ah, touche. That's different, though, uh, because uh, reasons. Okay, systemic abuse, malicious short selling, illegal collusion, high crimes against the market. Really, it's because they got caught. A perfect storm coalesced to bring us where we are today. Also, Robin Hood, enjoy your fine. It's not going to scratch them much, but makes me feel a little better. That's the past, though. And we're here now. And I know a squeeze when I see one, too. I may sell at some point, but no reason to rush things. Patience pays, after all. Did you see that run-up AMD had yesterday? Yeah, that's not going to last. Um, this isn't even him saying this. It just won't hold. It never does. I have the balance sheet to prove it. Eyes. Big money started moving in the last hour of trading. Full disclosure, I got some shares, and if the morning goes well, I may add some call to that position. Once again, don't do weeklies on anything. The longer out, the better. It's more forgiving that way. Forgiving. That brings us back to the veil. If you were to devise a system for all of us, but you didn't know what race, color, or all the demarcations that we make, your system to be a good one would need to be a blind one. You need to accommodate blind people, too. The whole idea of a fair system is one in which all have equal access to the same game. If you don't know which hand you'll be dealt, the one thing you can do is ensure the fairness of the game itself. The market agrees. Those who have tried to play in the shadows are about to get the disinfected treatment of sunlight. We may f never fully know the scale of the game we're currently involved in, but no matter the outcome, it's important that we continue the fight. Ultimately, the game is not fair, and then it's the player's job to ensure whatever they can to try and make it more so going forward. History isn't made by those who just accept that our best days and ideas are behind us. No. We defiantly say, hell no. Today, gang, understand that we're playing a game that was never designed to produce a bunch of winners. And the fact that we're still here is impressive on its own. But it's more. It's a moment. It's fate. Rest up. Remember to hydrate. Consume something green if you can. For you trade best when you're at your best. You owe it to yourself and your bottom line. Day by day, the tide is shifting. Perhaps even the veil is lifting just a bit. Ready up, bulls. Because our adversaries have run the table for far too long. And we're headed for an epic reversal. 
those shadow dwellers can't withstand the onslaught that approaches, that approaches at dawn.